Um, I fucking love black and white one, and I've actually played this game before. <laughs> but my pet actually bugged out and is con like permanently dead in the current game, so I need to restart the game. So, <laughs> no problems with re going through the tutorial for you guys. It's a pain in the ass, it's super long, but maybe we can like fast forward it or something. I don't know. This is the beginning. The beginning of the end. The birth of a god. It's black and white too, by the way. Sorry. By one pure breath. Born out of desperation. To be a god. To wield the power of good and evil. That is your destiny. black and white the original one for you guys as well. I should have it laying around somewhere actually. We're your conscience. We're part of you. Our role is to help you be the god you want to be. So, we'll guide you as you make your godly way through whatever this world throws at you. But before then, you'll want to learn the basics. We'll help you with all that, but even more importantly, you'll need a creature. Hey, let's go and choose one. They're my favorite. I always go for the wolf, um, or like the lion or the tiger. You can like switch up if you do. There switch. they are. Wonderful, aren't they? You have so four cliche. to choose from, but the one you choose will be with you throughout your whole time in this world. So consider carefully and make your choice wisely. Let us tell you about these amazing beasts. All creatures can be trained to become lovable, mischievous pets. Or like they can be the ultimate disciplined weapons of destruction and war. <laughs> Any creature you choose can become these things. That's the wonder of a god's creature. It can become whatever you wish. All creatures will grow up to be huge and powerful. They can be cute, quirky pets, inquisitive and fun-loving. Or they can be single-minded war machines. All creatures will be as good or evil as you teach them to be. I used to, uh... Go for it, evil, but, uh, the guy is kind of ugly in this one. Yeah, right. I'd rather the they spread love in the form of a massacre or two by going into battle. Creatures can live for war, domination, and destruction. Oh, such a shame if you ask me. Whichever creature you choose will change according to what he learns and does. They all have their own yeah, lives, the but you need to be a responsible parent and not overfeed them. So, now it's time to choose. Click on a creature with the action button to highlight him. If I'm evil, the wolf is going to look so ugly. He's gonna go for the lion. No, oh, I know it. If you're sure. Oh, great choice, boss. <laughs> yeah, go away, you guys. I made my choice. So, boss, you've been asleep a long time. Do you need the refresher about how to move like a god? Probably not. Use the action button. The hand is your tool for manipulating the world. The movement button pans your view around the world like this. 
To move left, hold down the movement button, then pull the mouse to the right. Marvelous. Just great work. Now we must move to our right. To move right, hold down the movement button, then drag the mouse to the left. Wonderful. <laughs> Just follow the arrows. Lion, you've got to keep up. Uh, let's keep going. Click and hold the ground. Then move the mouse back to pull yourself forwards. Follow the arrows to get back to your creature. And whilst keeping the movement button down, drag the mouse back. The creature is moving behind us. We must pan backwards to find him. We must. Well done. Now we shall learn to rotate your view. Hold the middle mouse button down, then drag from side to side to rotate your view. I think I suck at this. I think this is one of the things I had to remember. Now, whilst Better. keeping the middle mouse button down, drag the mouse left. Hmm. It's fun. time to learn to pitch your view yeah, up and fun. down. Middle click of the landscape, then drag the mouse backwards. Click and hold the middle mouse button in the highlighted area. Lovely! This is going very well. Now I suggest we try pitching down. Click the middle mouse button in the highlighted area and hold it down. Now, whilst keeping the middle mouse button down, push the mouse forward. There is one last thing, leader. Learning to zoom in and out. Now, try and zoom away from the creature. Roll the mouse wheel backwards to zoom out. Yes, marvelous. Now try zooming towards the creature. Excellent. Wonderful. You showed remarkable skill, leader. Way to go, boss. Sorry I couldn't help, but you know places to be. All the controls you've just learned can be used to move around the world. Yay, the world. This is a gold scroll. These lead you through the story. Silver scrolls lead to quests in the world. Bronze scrolls are tutorials which can teach you so much. Double click the movement button on the ground there to zoom to it quickly. Oh, what? They want me to do not I see a bronze tutorial scroll here, boss. <laughs> right. Move the hand over the rock and hold down the action button to pick it up. Once you've got hold of it, release the button. So, let's move all these rocks out of the circle. I'm being Oh, productive. that's it. You picked up the rock like an expert. Now, move it outside <laughs> the, circle the circle and click the action button again to drop it on the ground. Rock on, boss! <laughs> yeah, you got it in the right place! Mmm, smooth move. The Jeez. There we go. That's the one! Yay, coins! Look, you have received 1,000 tribute, tribute, and you thoroughly deserve it. Aw, oh, Joey, hello. Yeah. Another bronze scroll. So much to learn and so little time. You know, villagers are wonderfully versatile. They can do so much in the world. You can simply pick up a villager and put him or her next to something. The villager will take this as divine inspiration and become a disciple. Let's have a go at this, boys. Pick up this guy here and drop him over the highlighted area. Very good. Now drop him by a highlighted area. And see, we got a builder. Totally in the road now. I wanted you to sit on my lap, but you just want to stand everywhere. Create a forester. Create a breather. Oh, Joey, that's my mouse. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Disciple Forester. And this guy is chopping trees for wood. Disciple Breeder. Okay, Don't look, Leader. The breeders are doing whatever it is such people do. This person is safely working yeah, at the farm. Hey guys, here. Have some food. You got all that, boss? Yeah, of course you did. And to prove it, there's a thousand tribute waiting for you. Now, why not explore the land? Click on the silver scrolls when you see them. Click on the gold scroll on the big mountain to leave. Gold scroll on the mountain to leave. I'm going to skip the tutorials, because I like to think I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so that's black and white too. Um, I will play some more for you guys later. I'm trying to break it up into like easier to watch kind of sections. So yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Grab them and drop them in the portal. <laughs> oh, look, they're running around like mad. I'm gonna get all of these. That villager is now safe. Well I don't want to save this. If I get all the girls.